My name is Mark Jones, and this is my Wick story. My mother was a teen mom. She had me at 19 years old. To be quite honest, I don't remember when I was born. I don't remember breastfeeding. And I don't remember when the wonderful ladies of Wick taught my mom how to introduce foods to me at six months. It's said that people will forget what you say, people will forget what you do, but people will never forget how you make them feel. And what I do remember is how we felt after leaving that WIC office. That WIC office over on La Cienega, we felt great. Why? Because of the experience we had at the WIC office. What me and my brothers loved the most was actually going in and being able to run all around while we waited for them to call my mom, choosing the foods, whether it's kick cereal or Cheerios, which juice we're gonna get. We were excited about the foods and we didn't even know that they were actually good for us. WIC does so much more than just give nutritious foods. WIC changes lives. Fast forward 15 years, I'm in school studying nutrition. Then I did my internship with WIC and all the memories came back. And I remembered being served by the WIC staff and I wanted to serve the community. So I committed myself to become a WIC nutritionist. In fact, while I was walking up the stairs to go to the interview, I started having flashbacks, I had to grab onto the rail as I climbed up. But the nervousness went away because I knew I was at home because that WIC office, that WIC center, it was in use for about the last 20, 25 years. So it was the exact same center that I used to run around in. But now I have my dress shoes clicking on the floor as I walked to sit down at the desk to start the interview. And I actually told the person I was being interviewed by that I had a flashback when I was coming up the stairs. And I opened up and I told my story and I was vulnerable. I told about how we needed those foods. My mom was low income, single mom, was born and raised walking distance from here. So it's amazing to come in here and to be able to serve the community. I nailed the interview and here I am today, working for WIC, working for my community. But what I love the most is seeing myself. When I see the children, I see my siblings. When the mom has questions, she's uncertain, she's overwhelmed. I remember my mom being overwhelmed with five children trying to contain me as I jumped off the chair in the WIC Center.